Hello there, Scorpio. Thank you for stopping by for your weekly tarot forecast for the week of April 20th through the 26th. Um, I am using the Russian tarot of St. Petersburg once again. And so what we have coming up for us on Monday, Scorpio, yay, we have the sun. That just means that on Monday we're going to have a highly productive day. We're going to be doing the things that we want to do and that we enjoy doing and just getting a lot accomplished. So wonderful, wonderful news for us on Monday. Now, Tuesday, what we have coming up is we have the Two of Swords. And the Two of Swords talks about that on Tuesday we're going to be making some kind of decision and we're going to be making it as fairly as we possibly can. We're going to be getting as much information as we can before we make that decision so that we do make it as fairly as possible. Wednesday, what I see coming up is I see the Four of Clubs showing up. The Four of Clubs talks about somebody coming into the nest. So if you've been in a relationship and you split up with somebody, this can be the coming back together of that relationship. Um, this can also be somebody um, having a birthday and the whole family coming around to celebrate that birthday together or First Communion or what have you. This can also be a family member coming back from military duty or from college or from anywhere that they've been away from vacation um, and this can also be a friend that moves back into the neighborhood after being away or coming home from being away or this can be a co-worker that comes back to work where you work that maybe was gone or it even could be a new co-worker coming in or it could be a new baby coming home to the family so it's somebody coming into the nest that's the bottom line that I see for us happening on Wednesday Scorpios now, on Thursday, what we have is the Hierophant in reverse. So Hierophant in reverse, what I'm feeling like for us Scorpios here is that we are acting in very non-traditional ways. We're starting new things. We're being creative about the things that we want to begin in our lives. We are, we are kind of bucking the system. We're not doing something just because it's always been done that way. That is seeming on Thursday to be absolutely ridiculous to us. So we're looking for new ways to improve some things that have been around for a while. We want to tweak them and actually make them more efficient and more productive. Okay, so that's your Thursday. And then Friday, Ten of Cups in reverse. Ten of Cups in reverse just means that you have some kind of relationship issue. Could be a romantic relationship, family relationship, friendship, or business relationship where that relationship is going backwards instead of forwards on Friday. So, um, yeah, that's all I really want to say about that. <laughs> On Saturday, what we have showing up is we have the Fool in Reverse. The Fool in Reverse really talks about um, having a situation that we really know exactly how to deal with it. And that knowing comes from inside of us. It's not a logical thing. So the, the challenge here is that because it's not logical, we have a hard time justifying taking the action that we know that we should take. We have a hard time justifying that in our minds. And we have a hard time... Um, telling our friends, you know, oh, this is what I want to do and this is why, because it's hard to say when it's not really a logical why. So what I see going on, because this card is coming in reversed on Saturday, is I see that you have this situation that you really know from deep inside how to handle. However, because that knowing is not logical, you don't really trust it. And so you're being boxed in by the logical and you're not you're not trusting the inner knowing and so you're doing what's logical instead of what you really know that you need to do with that situation. All right, so Sunday what we have showing up is we have the King of Clubs in reverse. King of Clubs in reverse, I feel like this is somebody who is um, coming into your sphere, somebody that you're interacting with on Sunday. And this is somebody who is um, very creative, really thinks outside the box, kind of the expert at their own thing, maybe even created their own um, niche as to what they do. But um, when you're seeing this person on Sunday, they're having trouble um, sorting things out and really making decisions and even though they're very creative and they think outside the box which usually makes decision making easy for them they're having a little trouble and I feel like they're they're feeling um, really emotional and that's kind of clouding their normal problem solving processes because they have these emotions that are coming into play here Okay, so Scorpio, that is our week coming up for the 20th through the 26th. For those of you who would like to schedule a private reading with me, 
feel free to check out my website. I'm at amista.info, A-M-I-S-T-A dot I-N-F-O. Once you're there and you've looked around a little bit, if you still feel like I'm the best person for you to work with, go ahead and contact me and we will schedule you a session as quickly as possible. And for everybody else, I will see you all here next week. Everyone have a great week. Peace out.